Well, a new Reporters Without Borders World Press Freedom Index cites hotspots in the Middle East, Africa, and Asia as being among the worst offenders of press freedom. The journalism rights group also says there has been a significant decline in press freedom right here in the United States. Viewers Pam Dawkins reports. Reporters Without Borders says Syria, in the third year of an armed conflict between the government and opposition groups, has become increasingly dangerous for journalists. U.S. Director Delphine Algan says Syria ranks near the bottom of its index of 180 countries. You have to keep in mind that more than 130 news providers have been killed in Syria since the start of the conflict in March 2011, including 45 this last year. On top of that, at least 16 foreign reporters and 26 Syrian news providers are right now detained, kidnapped, or missing. Olgan says that in some African countries, the privatization of violence is problematic. She cited the M23 militia in the DR Congo and the al-Qaeda-linked group al-Shabaab in Somalia. What we mean is that non-state um, groups are the main source of violence against the media. This is the case in many countries in Africa. In its annual ranking, Reporters Without Borders looked at factors like media independence and level of abuse. In Vietnam, the group says government attempts to crack down on social media and bloggers played a role in that country's low ranking. Wang Nguyen is at Viet Youth for Democracy. The thing with the social media is um, it's so difficult for the government to control what people are talking about. That's the reason why there's been a lot of focus on, um, you know, the focus from the Vietnamese government's part in order to restrict the, the freedom of information on the Internet. The group says a U.S. government hunt for whistleblowers played a role in plunging the U.S. ranking on the index. The report cites Bradley Manning, a former Army intelligence analyst, who was sentenced to 35 years in prison for passing classified documents to the anti-secrecy group WikiLeaks. James Rising is an investigative reporter at the New York Times. I think it's uh, the crackdown on reporters, on uh, whistleblowers, and the efforts by the administration uh, to and the uh, national security apparatus of the government to limit the amount of information that the public uh, has a, uh, can find out about. Reporters Without Borders says South Africa, among other countries, has made progress toward press freedom over the past year. Pam Dawkins, VOA News, Washington.